England, France, Australia, and New Zealand. We recently visited each of these countries, and we made it a point to visit the local gardens. In Paris, we strolled the streets and came across the Luxembourg Gardens with its huge pool and fountain, and the Royal Palace Gardens. From Paris, we visited Claude Monet's garden and home in Giverny, France. His water garden was the inspiration for his water lily paintings. We often visit London and its tourist sites such as the Tower Bridge, but then venture into the gardens in and around the city. Hampton Court Palace in Richmond-upon-Thames in London was a home of King Henry VIII. The grounds were laid out in the 17th century and include King William's Privy Garden and formal gardens with topiary and fountains. Among the many gardens at the Royal Botanical Gardens at Kew in London are the Victorian glasshouses, the water gardens, the Mediterranean gardens, and the Broadwalk borders. Rhododendrons, azaleas, and camellias are the highlights of the Isabella Plantation Woodland Gardens in the Richmond Park National Nature Reserve in London. Ponds, trees, shrubs, and flowers provide habitat for insects, birds, and mammals. King Henry's Mound offers a fabulous view of London. Quaint medieval thatched roof cottages in the Cotswolds in the countryside outside of London have small but spectacular gardens.
Blenheim Palace, Winston Churchill's boyhood home, features gardens with fountains and sculptures in a pastoral setting. Just steps away from the Opera House on Sydney Harbour is the Royal Botanic Gardens in Sydney, Australia. We took a tour of Christchurch Botanic Gardens in New Zealand, which also included punting on the Avon. The Otari Wilton's Bush Native Botanic Garden in Wellington is the only public botanic garden dedicated to the native plants of New Zealand. After visiting one of the most beautiful countries in the world, we watched the sun set on a stunning vacation. Mm -hmm. 